welcome back to Androns as Golf Academy. Good to have you with me as always. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm on my putting green here in my uh, Golf Academy, uh, in my golf studio in sunny Treen, Hertfordshire. What I thought we'd do today is chat a little bit about probably the most important golf club in the bag, the old putter. The old bread and butter, as we like to call this one, in Cockney Rhyme and Slang. Um, think about an average round of golf that you're going to play. Two putts per green, you'd have to be Einstein to work out that that's 36 putts. Chuck in a couple of three putts and before you know it, you've, you've had 40 putts. So, if you're a golfer who shoots 90 and you know, plays to an 18 handicap, um, 40 of your 90 shots you're going to hit with this thing. So percentage wise that, that's a lot of shots isn't it to hit with the putter. And people come to me for help with their golf swings. They want to lower the handicap, they want to play better golf. The simplest way that you can really sneak a few shots off your handicap if you're in this sort of 24 to 14 bracket I would say is to have a look at your putter. First of all, have a look at what you're using. If it's a very old putter, 15 years old, 20 years old, my first suggestion is go and change it. Go and get something a little bit more up to date. Modern putters, the way they're designed, heel and toe weighting, face balanced, a little bit shorter, length of putters has got shorter these days. We'll talk about that in a little bit more detail later. But if you're using something, something like this, which is a you know, bullseye style putter, which, you know, looks great, but very difficult to use, forget it. You know, get yourself into a Ping or a Scotty camera, an Odyssey, something like this, you know, which is slightly cavity backed, if you'd like to call it that, heel and toe weighted. Um, say so length is going to be around about 34 inches. These things will help you putt. So, let's have a little look at the actual putting technique itself. Grips, well, there are a million and one different grips, aren't there, these days? Not only the actual how we hold it, but the actual grip that we could put on the club. These very thick grips have become popular, the super stroke, very fat grips. The idea of those is that it minimises hand action and it keeps everything nice and passive. They work. The most popular grip that I teach is what we call reverse overlap grip. And basically, the simple way to reverse overlap is if you were to hold the club in your normal way, let's presume you're using the, the Varden grip or the interlock grip, from there just take the index finger of your left hand off and just overlap it on top of the three fingers of the right hand. Okay, so it just sort of sits on top. So I'm just taking it off there and I'm just overlapping it over the top. This finger here on my right hand, that can do whatever it likes really. It can tuck underneath or it can sit down the shaft. But the idea of this finger coming off and overlapping is it starts to brace the back of the left hand. That, that's its primary role, is to firm the back of the left wrist up and basically stop this happening. We don't want this to be happening in a putting stroke. You do that, you'll never hold a putt as long as you live. So we're trying to keep the hands nice and passive the reverse overlap grip works very well, as does left below right. I see a lot of good putters putting with this action. So, have a little go at some different grips and see how you get on with that. As a, when we get on to the actual stroke itself, I'm not going to bore you guys to death on, on how it works. Ball position, speak to 10 pros, you'll get 10 different views on ball position. My personal opinion, I like to see the ball position pretty much in the centre. The reason I like to see the ball position in the centre is that I believe that helps get your shoulders level. I don't really like to see the ball too far forward because that tends to promote a bit of a shoulder tilt and I think that the putting stroke works best when the shoulders are in a level position. So we've got the ball in the middle and we've got the weight evenly balanced. From here what we're going to do is we're going to try and create the movement from our shoulders. We're going to just stand there Nice and balanced, I'm over the ball, eyes over the ball, and from here I'm just going to try and rock the shoulders. You can see the shoulders are rocking in a seesaw-like action, left shoulder down, right shoulder up, left shoulder down, right shoulder up, and what we're doing here is we're creating this pendulum action in the putting stroke. A good way of practicing that is to 
go and see a friendly golf pro and get him to give you a broken shaft. Preferably graphite, but steel would do. Tuck the shaft underneath your arms, like so. Just clamp it in position. And then from there, with the shaft clamped underneath your arms, just get the feeling here of rocking the shoulders. And you have a little look at how it's working. You can kind of see how we rock it up and down. And it really gives us a good feeling of how the, how the body works. So that's really the basics of the putting stroke. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing around here and we're going to put my putty stroke to the test. I'm going to see if we can hold a couple. So on my Huxley putting green here, freshly hoovered, um, I'm approximately 9 to 10 feet away here. And these Huxley putting greens that I've got, they roll at about, about 10 on the stint meter. So fairly quick, not much break on it. So, here we go, ball in the middle, shoulders level, let's see if we can put a stroke on it. Mm. Not so good to start with, pull that one a little bit. Pull the second one, looking good isn't it? Let's see if we can hold one. Okay, that's a better stroke. Good, got the shoulders working on that one, got a nice stroke on it, straight back and through, that felt good. Let's see if we can hold another one. Ooh, just burn the edge. So there we go, just a little bit of an idea of, of how we can putt. As always, go and see your local PGA pro, get his advice, but keep the putting simple. Don't make it more complicated than it is. Get yourself a decent putter in your hands. Read some books, look on the internet, watch some videos, find the putting stroke that works for you. Hope you enjoyed my little insight into putting and play well next time you're out. Take care for now.